Hey guys, this is Jenna. Happy App Scrap Across America Day, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us either in person or online. For this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to embellish a Project Life app layout in Over. There are multiple ways to do this, and this is just one way. <clears throat> Some people like to start out opening a background paper in Over so your canvas is the right size, and then you can add the plain layout to Over on top of that. I prefer to just export the plain layout from Project Life into Over so I don't have to save the plain layout in my camera roll. The less clutter in my camera roll, the better. So I don't mind a few extra steps resizing things. So here it is finished in Over. This is what we're going to make. And there is also a video we will link up on how to unzip something with the new iOS 13. We'll be sure to put that in the comments of this post as well. And so let's go over to the Project Life app. Here it is. And yes, this is the page. And I use the Project 52 Fresh Edition for these cards. I'm just going to embellish, embellish it with a freebie kit from the CelineStudio.com website. And here we are. I'm going to export the 12 by 12 straight into Over. And there's the icon for Over. If you don't see it, you can tap more and toggle it on. I'm gonna choose over and yeah, let's do this. Okay, I am gonna close that finished project and, and open a new one so we can walk through the steps together. So from here, the Project Life app only exports pages, 12 by 12 pages at 3000 by 3000. And you wanna change this to 3600. So you're gonna come down here and tap on custom and you're gonna type out 3600. And tap the check mark, and tap the check mark again. Now we're gonna add some background paper from the kit I unzipped and downloaded. It's on my camera roll. And so I'm just gonna tap image. And you can see pieces of it here, and there are some more pieces of it here. They, I've downloaded it a couple of times, so there might be some multiples in there. Don't worry about that. But what, what I'm trying to say is that sometimes the items have different dates, so they're not going to be all together. A way, without scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to try to find all the pieces, sometimes you can tap on All Photos and go to Recents, and then maybe they're there together. Maybe they're not. That works 90% of the time for me, so I can just scroll up and find the other things. But I'm gonna start with this background paper. Let's do that first. And we'll just resize it. I'm gonna tap on the size slider and use it instead of my fingers so it stays perfectly centered. I'm just gonna enlarge that a bit. I'm gonna come up here and tap the check mark and then I'm going to put that layer behind my page. So just tap on the three bars and drag it underneath. Now I want to highlight the page. Just tap on it and then tap edit. And then I'm going to shrink it a little bit and keep it centered. Use the slider instead of my fingers. So that looks good. Uh, while I have the tool belt open at the bottom for this item, I'm going to add a shadow. I always like to add a bit of a blur to the shadow. It's just a little bit harsh. And I also bump down the opacity and... For this one, I am going to change the angle. I, I prefer it to go off to the left, so I'm just going to tap on these arrows a bit and move it over, and I'm going to bump it up a little bit too. Okay, so now that I have that set how I want it, I can tap the check mark and add the other embellishments. So tap image. Again, go to your camera roll. You can scroll through things. You can tap here and look through any albums you may have made if you put your album in a kit. I mean, if you put your kit in an album. You can also tap here for more and look through your cloud locations. So there are different options there. And again, if you don't see what you want, tap on those three dots and you can edit that there. I use beautiful a lot and have some kits in there. You can you can definitely add that there also. Okay, but mine are in my camera roll because I just unzipped this. So I'm gonna add this flower first. And obviously that <laughs> it needs to be resized. But if you'll notice, it does have a bit of a shadow similarly set to what I already brought in. 
Sometimes that happens, and honestly, sometimes it does not. So you always, I always check every item. So I'm just going to use my fingers and shrink this down a little bit and, and just put it right there as a little bit of embellishment. Now I am gonna go to the shadow option and check the opacity. That usually stays set, but the blur, it always seems to default down. And I think Over is just intuitive about that and it knows the size of the item you're bringing in and it tries to do some work for you. Sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. So I often look at each item and double check it. Okay, again, while we have the toolbar open down here, let's go through some of these other options. You can add filters. You can adjust all sorts of editing there. You can adjust the size. Shadow we've looked at a little bit. I don't ever change the color, but I, I do often look at the other three options. The opacity of the item, you can <laughs> shrink it a little bit, shrink lower. Um, the rotate tool is nice. Um, you can flip items vertically or horizontally and you can rotate a little bit, it's nice. Blur tint nudge is good if you want to look for some exact placement. If you tap nudge, it sort of zooms in on the item and you can use these arrows to move it very minimally. Mask, blend, and crop. Crop is good too if you want to bring in a full page and then cut it down a little bit. So I have it set how I want it, so I'm just going to tap the check mark up here to get out of the editing options for that item and bring in something else. So let's scroll down to these little buttons. Um, again, obviously pretty big. Going to shrink that down with my fingers and just place a few on the page, keeping in mind that this is a 12 by 12 page and I don't need a giant five inch button if I'm gonna do a, a page like this. So I'm just gonna tap check mark. It looks good to me. I'm also, I'm gonna add a couple of them. So I'm just gonna tap on it again and tap duplicate, tap again, tap duplicate, and just move my fingers around to spread them out and give a little scatter. Okay, that'll work. You could also, if you want to mess around with it, you can also rotate, but I'm down here at the toolbar again, sorry. Um, rotate a little bit so they don't look exactly the same. That's nice to do for a little dimension. Rotate one one way, one the other way. You can do that. So I'm gonna tap the check mark and bring in something else. Let's see, I think there was a frame I wanted to use. Yeah, we'll just add that over this and again, I'm gonna check the shadow. I want it to have a little bit of more of a blur. The opacity is good. I'm gonna drag it underneath the buttons by tapping on the layers palette and pulling it down underneath. Tap the check mark. And I think there was one more thing I wanted to add. There was a word strip that was fun. Where's that? You know what? I think it looks like this. <laughs> Let's try that. Yep, that's it. Okay. So I'll add that to the title card. Again, check the shadow. Give it a bit of a blur. And they're not exactly the same, but I am keeping some of them the same. Okay, so tap the check mark and there we go. I think that'll do it. Just some minimal embellishments, really plus up the page. I love that look. And so from here, I can tap on the export arrow and I can save it to my camera roll. I can share it online. And if you tap the more button, there are some other options there. And again, if you tap edit actions or scroll over up here to more, you can do other things as well. I'm just gonna save it to my camera roll and keep the app open until it saves and it gives me a confirmation and then I'm good to go. So in my camera roll, I will have this photo right there. This is just the basics of how to edit something in Over and I hope that helps. For those of you from Simply Project Life who've never tried this, this is a great beginner way to start with Over and you can do so much more with Over. There are templates you can use. There's the pro version. You could create your own cards. There are tons of graphics in the app and it is absolutely fantastic. But I hope this beginner video helps you guys out and you guys enjoy the rest of the day. We can't wait to see what you're making. So enjoy App Scrap Across America 